So this is a schematic representation of my test setup to, in order to try to recreate the uh, failure and understand the root cause. Uh, going from left to right, I have a voltage source which represents the house uh, power from the house and it's connected to the uh, house wiring uh, chassis ground or ground rod. These two coils are the auto transformers. They are basically a toroid with a tap that allows you to select which fractionoid you want to uh, auto induce a output voltage on. The top and the bottom are a little bit different uh, in terms of the way they rectify, but the idea was to have two variable DC sources. Uh, the top source employed a bridge rectifier and a 47 microfarad filter capacitor. The bottom employed uh, a dual uh, Schottky diode. In other words, it was uh, two, two Schottky diodes in a single package connected in parallel. And this uh, DC source incorporated two 1500 microfarad uh, filter capacitors. They ended about, they ended over here and then their outputs were diode ored with these um, 1000 volt 6 amp diodes um, diode ored, the cathodes were connected together and the output went to a 5 kilo ohm load and then that, the idea was to return that to the source this way. Um, looking at it, it's kind of hard to see if there's any problem so I recreated uh, the circuit on a simulation using LT Spice LT Spice 4 and upon running the simulation I quickly noticed the the issue um, this diode connected to ground is, is effectively shorted out and this diode D2 shorts out the supply so a large current will flow through D2, uh, causing, and that would, was probably the cause of the lo loud humming I was hearing with this setup. So the problem stems partly from the employment of a bridge rectifier. When I ran the simulation, I saw a lot of things you'd expect. So. These are the inductor currents, and these inductors are here representing the auto transformers. This is the voltage source, I'm swinging plus minus 110 volts. This is the current through the 5 kilo ohm load, pretty typical. This is 54 amps charging the large filter capacitors, nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary there. And then there was again charging filter capacitors and then diode currents that compose the other three diodes, actually two diodes of the bridge rectifier. The problem was with, I, with diode D2, which is the one that I pointed out, which effectively shorts out the source. It's seeing 6,000 amps according to the simulation, so yes, it is shorting out the source, and the source is supplying the entirety of that short to that diode. That explains the humming, but what it does not explain to me is why I had some damage um, to the signal processing board in the dual diode box. Maybe part of that large short circuit current found its way past this diode, past this rectifier, into the box, and somehow uh, was flowing through that current sense resistor causing the solder joint to overheat and melt. That is the prevailing hypothesis right now.